Hi, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Cindy. And we're here with another feeding frenzy for the 40 day prosperity plan. And we are on day seven. Seven. <clears throat> the divine consciousness that I am is forever expressing its true nature of abundance. This is its responsibility, not mine. My only responsibility is to be aware of this truth. Therefore, I am totally confident in letting go and letting God appear as the abundant all-sufficiency in my life and affairs. <clears throat> the divine consciousness that I am is forever expressing its true nature of abundance. Explain that to me. For me, it's talking about my Christ self, the Christ within, my source that I tap into which is more than the sum of this individualized person. Mm -hmm. It is the truth, right. um, my divine connection, so to speak. And it's um, true nature. It's forever expressing, meaning that it's not something I have to pay attention to. It's not something that um, I have to spur on or um, coax into being or do something in order for it to work. It is constantly working, just like my heart, as long as I'm living, is constantly beating. It's not something that I have to think about. It's constantly expressing. Um, but its true nature is all of God. Mm. Because, like we talked about a couple of days ago, the wave and being a wave in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm an individual doesn't mean that I don't have within me all of God. Mm. And to me, God is abundance. Right, abundance is capitalized here. So I think it's talking about the attribute of God that is abundance. Mm -hmm. um, it says it's true nature of abundance. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you that it's true nature is abundance? It, it means to me it doesn't imagine, it doesn't matter if I can picture it, that its nature is everything. There's no beginning, no end. It doesn't matter if I can wrap my head around it. It is. Right. It is everything I can imagine and everything I can't imagine. <clears throat> okay, so where does light come from? What I can't wrap my head around. Mm -hmm. I think I put the brakes on my forward movement. Mm -hmm. I put the limitations on what will show up for me because what I can believe in. Mm -hmm. what I will allow myself to believe in. And I've noticed that as I explore <clears throat> and push the envelope of what is possible, then what I see becomes bigger. Mm -hmm. So when I allow more abundance, I get more abundance. Mm -hmm. Good. You see? So what does it mean this is its responsibility, not mine? Who is it? Who's it talking about there? Whose responsibility is the abundance? It's like connection. It's if I'm a wave, it's the ocean. It's it's God. It's the universe. It's truth. It's I think that's what he is referring to when he says it there. Okay. So when we say that's its responsibility, it's only I know it says in the other part of that sentence that it's only my responsibility to be aware of that. <clears throat> my only responsibility <laughs> is to be aware of this truth with a capital T. All right. So well, how does that make you feel? Well, the first time we went through it, it was like a big relief. Oh, well, thank God. For me, that just reminds me, get my head out of the how. Mm -hmm. Forget about the how. It's automatic. It's going to happen because the divine abundance that's in me is constantly working and is taking care of the how. Mm -hmm. So that's its responsibility. Mm -hmm. My responsibility is just to know that the how is taken care of. Mm -hmm. As some people say that God's got my back, or if I let this go, it's going to be taken care of. Period. Right. That's all my only responsibility. Mm -hmm. My, I feel like my responsibility is when those things come up to say, "God is my source." Mm -hmm. Period. That's mm -hmm. all I have to do is acknowledge God as my source, and then follow that guidance. And I think that's a big follow that mm -hmm. guidance. Mm -hmm. I have to recognize and learn to trust that guidance and everybody's is different and it took me a long time 
to discern what's well what is guidance for you what does it show up as for um, you oh gosh that's such such a hard one to describe i know but it, it was for, hard for me to figure out what my guidance was and i know it was hard for you to figure out what your guidance was and for a lot of people they don't know what guidance is mm -hmm. so you know for me and this is only for me everybody's is so different for me it was learning to trust my own thoughts and when I would get those little nudges of oh I ought to do this or oh wouldn't it be cool if I could do this or oh life would be so much better if I could just do that learning to trust that those are not just Cindy but those are from God. All those little desires of all these little programs I wanted to write for years and just didn't mm -hmm. because I thought that was just my stupid idea that nobody would ever want to use. And now I'm thinking, wish I already had these done. Mm -hmm. You know, all the little things that, you know, for years I went thinking, oh, should I should have just quit this job and do my own thing. And I didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't. And then I finally did. And realizing now that that was probably God giving me that desire to do my own thing so that I could do things like this that mm -hmm. hopefully are more of more use to people than whatever job I had. Well, but can't you see too, in, in hindsight, especially when you get to something that you enjoy and you think, why didn't I do this sooner? Mm -hmm. If I had just... Right, or what was I worried about, you know? Yeah. I, no, I haven't had... Isn't well, that sign for you that that was that was yeah. the universe telling you, hey, that's yours to do? I told you about that this you know many years exactly. ago. I and have so to that say, was a missed opportunity. I have to say that walking on fire <coughs> with Ed Wayne has really helped me to discern and trust my judgment or mm -hmm. excuse me my guidance mm -hmm. more than anything else I've done mm -hmm. is knowing when it's mine to do mm -hmm. and when it's not. Mm -hmm. Even though it's always been mine to do when I'm there, you know I I trust that inner guidance more of I have the power within to do anything I set my mind to do mm -hmm. and I am now to the point where I believe that anything I set my mind to do and anything that I feel is worth my time is mine to do mm -hmm. anything that I don't want to do and that I procrastinate about and then it just doesn't get my juices flowing and it's not my. And you don't find the energy for. You don't find the excitement. Yeah, I just can't make myself do it. You know. Or you're making yourself do it. And I'm miserable while. And you're miserable while you're doing it. And everybody it. around me is miserable because I'm miserable. Mm -hmm. You know, those things are just not mine to do. Mm -hmm. So, what it helped me to, we talked about in another video where um, we got rid of clients we didn't like working with. Well, I had so much trouble getting their stuff done. I would just be in such a bad mood when I was doing it. it. It became difficult and everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Now I, I know that those are the things that are not mine to do. and Those are the things I need to let go of because as Ed Wing taught us, anytime we're doing a job that we don't like to do, then it's somebody else's job. You're stealing somebody else's job. I'm stealing job. somebody else's yeah. job and I don't, I don't want somebody else's job. I got enough trouble doing my own. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. the things that are mine to do and the things we're doing now, mm -hmm. they're fun. And I can't wait to get up in the morning and jump into doing them. Right. Every one of them, even the clients we have, even though they're not just our stuff, I can't wait to get it done. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's easy mm -hmm. because I want to do it. And it just comes easy. Everything works together well. Everything goes quicker and faster and everything works You know, the last well. job that I had... Um, I knew that I was moving out of that it was mine to do. It, it was when I first got the job. It was mine to do. Mm -hmm. And there was an excitement. And I got up out of the bed every day excited to go and do it. Mm -hmm. But then as it drug on, I thought, you know what? I don't think this is mine to do anymore. Because then it became a chore. Well, and I was having to point. make myself get up to do it. That's and another good point. I was not putting my 100% in. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I was not serving them either. Right. Right. Just because it's yours to do at one point doesn't mean it will be yours exactly. to do forever. That's what I was getting to. And we can move past it to the next big step, right. you know. Right. So just because we're doing this today doesn't mean we'll be doing this forever, that it's ours to do forever. Right, right now, now, it is ours to do yeah. because it is just happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like we planned this. It just fell in our laps, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And it's working right. for us right. right now, today. It's ours to do. 
That doesn't mean that it will be next week or next year or next month. Right. You know? Right. So that's what I mean by following my guidance. It's knowing what's mine to do, knowing when I'm in that flow, mm -hmm. feeling excited and enthusiastic mm -hmm. about what is mine to do, mm -hmm. learning to trust myself to know when it's mine and when it's not. Mm -hmm. That's my guidance, my inner guidance. And I feel like that comes straight from God. That's not seen. And there's been times when I have ventured into something that I thought was mine to do, but found out quickly. Okay, this is right. Isn't. Right. So I think we need but, to let, know when to let go. But if I hadn't tried it, I wouldn't have known right. this isn't mine to do. Right. But then again, I have tried things that I've figured out. I don't know if this is mine to do, but once I got into it, it's like, hey, there's a real excitement here. Like, you know, it is. <laughs> oh, well, I don't You're know. Really there, I, I did. I did fight against doing these videos to begin with. You know, I had a real problem with. Letting somebody just watch me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm human just like anybody else, you know? And I think, oh my God, what? One burp and I could be the next honey boo boo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that was a complex I didn't want to carry. You know what I'm saying? So I did. I fought against it for a while. But the longer that we do this, I figured out, okay, this is ours to do. And there's this beautiful thing called editing, you know? <laughs> So that we, and some of the things we can't edit out because then you edit out some of the good stuff, you know, like dishwasher noises and kids and that kind of stuff. But the more we do it, yeah, I realize it's mine to do. But yeah, I did fight against it. Mm -hmm. And I'll admit it. I had to let go of a few things first mm -hmm. before. But are you glad you did? But I am glad. Good. But I am glad. So Today. So all that push that I did was worth it. I told you when we first met we were going to be doing something like this together. I uh, know. I think that's when I started fighting this one, too. <laughs> okay, I'm totally confident in letting go and letting God appear as the abundant, all-sufficiency in my life mm -hmm. and affairs. How hard is it for you to picture all-sufficiency? Oh, wow, well, it's getting easier because I've seen it happen now. Um, I think, um, oh my goodness, all-sufficiency, that's everything. Everything. That's, that's not just... I'm going to trust him with making sure we have groceries today. And I'm going to yeah. trust him with being able to pay my rent. You know, that's everything. Everything. And so my question now is, okay, I have the whole struggle with the credit card. You know, okay, well, if I have everything, then I can just put it on this credit card and, you know, worry about it later. But, so I don't know. There's there are lines there that I'm just not real sure about yet. But. We really, truly have all power within us. Mm -hmm. Everything we could ever want or imagine is ours. Mm -hmm. Everything we see and feel and hear is ours. Mm -hmm. That's becoming more and more clear to me, but I still have that money debt kind of thing mm -hmm. going on that I know I need to somehow get rid of and hopefully... So next, we're working towards that, just like we just days. like we talked about. We're no different than anybody sitting mm -hmm. here watching this. You know, we have unresolved um, issues. Issues. Yeah. So, are you totally confident in letting go and letting God appear as the abundant all sufficiency in your life and affairs? In a lot of areas, I am totally confident. Yes. I can totally just say, mm, that's not a big deal, I'm not going to worry about that, God's got this. And I don't give it another thought. There are other areas that it is more difficult. Now, it's becoming easier the more I practice mm -hmm. this. So we just saw a big demonstration of that yesterday. Yeah, uh, we did. You're going to have to keep bringing it up. You remember back when you asked me, what did I say that was wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I have to keep practicing. It becomes easier once I get back into the practice of it to say it's really okay. This is good. There is good in it. God's got it. I may not be able to see the how or the when or the why, but I'm going to refuse to drown in this moment. Mm -hmm. I know it, it's also been said that you know when you can master the small things, you'll get masters of bigger things, mm -hmm. you know, and so I'm learning that mm -hmm. by the practice of it, and so that's why the practice of it becomes so important, even when I don't feel like it. Good stuff. Like it.
That's good stuff. I think we beat this one to death today. Yeah. Shrimp. All right, shrimp.